HIV replication is a complex, multi-staged process that includes crucial steps taking place on the exterior as well as the interior of the target host cell. The first three steps involved in cell entry are termed attachment, co-receptor binding, and fusion. Each step in the process is critical to successful viral reproduction and represents a potential target for antiviral drug development. Drugs capable of inhibiting these steps would act on the outside of the host cell and offer the potential advantage of lacking cross-resistance with currently available therapeutics. Many of these experimental agents are progressing through different phases of research. The result of viral and cell membrane fusion is the creation of a fusion core that allows the viral capsid to enter the host cell cytoplasm. Viral RNA is then released from the capsid and the process of transcribing viral RNA to DNA is performed by the viral enzyme reverse transcriptase. Drugs that interfere with this process are called reverse transcriptase inhibitors or RTIs and include the nucleoside and non-nucleoside RTIs. The newly transcribed viral DNA is then incorporated into the cellular genome by the viral enzyme integrase. Following integration, the viral genome is transcribed into mRNA and transported from the nucleus back into the cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm, viral mRNA undergoes translation, resulting in the production of viral proteins. Core proteins are produced as long polypeptide chains that must be cleaved into smaller proteins in order to become functional. This step is performed by the viral protease enzyme, which is the target of the antiviral drugs known as protease inhibitors. Functional viral proteins and viral RNA then assemble at the cell membrane and ultimately new viruses are released in a process called viral budding.